everyone welcome back to my channel um as you can see today's video is going to be a little bit differently i'm on the bedroom floor and yeah will's taking a nap but um i'm on a bit of a personal journey as far as with my anxiety but i'm gonna do a whole separate video on you know my anxiety journey but um i am on i was started on a new medication and this is basically my one week check-in um i'm doing this not only for just self-documentation but because when i looked on youtube there really weren't that many videos i mean there were a ton from like pharmacists and doctors but as far as like personal people there really wasn't a lot um just a disclaimer this is just me a normal human by no means am I a medical professional or, you know, anything like that. So, always talk to your doctor or your pharmacist or, you know, whoever about prescription medication. I'm not not trying to push drugs in any way, just given my, like I said, my normal human opinion and my experience with the medication to, you know, because somebody else may be going through something that similar to what I'm going through, so... Um, like I said, a whole video on my, like, anxiety journey is coming, but I have, like, so many more appointments to go to to figure out exactly what is going on. But, the main reason we're doing this video, you know, like, hot mess, you know, Trisha Paytas on the floor slash Shane Dawson in the robe. But, we're gonna get it all together and somehow get my points across today. Um, this is my one-week check-in my general practitioner started me on buspirone, buspirone, however you pronounce it, to hopefully, um, I guess you could say calm or somewhat manage the anxiety symptoms that I'm dealing with until I see the specialist. Hopefully soon I can get in with that, but y'all know how it is when you're waiting to see a specialist. It feels like forever. Um, I'm going to read directly from WebMD and to kind of tell y'all what, what, what it says. It just says, um, this medication is used to treat anxiety. It may help you think more clearly, relax, worry less, and take part in everyday life. It may also help you feel less jittery and irritable and may control symptoms such as trouble sleeping, sweating, and pounding heartbeat. Um, it works by affecting certain substances in the brain, your neurotransmitters. Like I said, I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to get into the logistics of it. But like I said, it's, it's been one week that I've been on the medication. I know it states that it takes four weeks to, you know, get in your system and get adjusted to it. I do take, um, five milligram tablets three times a day. And you have to take it with food. Sorry, my phone needs to be on silent. Um, okay, what I've experienced this past week. Because it's been a roller coaster since I've started it. I know it's because, you know, my body's getting used to it and everything. You have to take it with food. Okay, even what I've read about it online, it says, you know, take it with food. I have to force myself to eat because when I take this medication like it suppresses my appetite now I do find myself like throughout little periods of the day like to where like like I'm hungry like I need something to eat I can eat but it's like after I take it and it, I guess give it time to kick in like it it really suppresses my appetite um that was right off the bat one of the first like symptoms I noticed with it um the very first night, like, um, like, after I left the pharmacy with the medication, you know, got home and took it, the first dose of it, and I would say shortly after the second dose of it, I felt so, so messed up, like, um, just, like, another level high, like, I, I felt really messed up the first night on it, like, um... 
I was I was literally standing in the corner like like oh there's my coconut oil because I remember telling Will like I was like I remember buying coconut oil because I even hauled it in a video I was like I know I bought coconut oil and now I can't find it and then I figured out where it was and I just like stood there in amaze that I found the coconut oil like I the first night I, I was completely out of it after taking like the first two doses but um I guess that was just like a general like shock to my body because I haven't really felt like messed up since that first night but um just what as far as what the pharmacy put on the bottle um may cause drowsiness dizziness don't drink with alcohol um use with care when driving or operating machinery da 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 um and it's one of those check with your doctor about when you eat it in consumption with when you take it in consumption with grapefruit and grapefruit juice this video is going to be all over the place it probably already is but um so af after that first night I felt like all messed up and then I started noticing how it really suppressed my appetite um I would say the next thing that I noticed was how it would make me have like and like I said y'all I've only been on this a week it, it hasn't even allegedly really hasn't even had time to fully kick into my system like random bouts of like confusion or anger like I got I got really really aggravated with Will the other day and it, it was just over stupid stuff it was just like like I don't like uh I, don't, I really don't even know how to explain it because again it's like supposed to help clear my mind but I feel like it's making me even have an even harder time with making decisions and like finding any sort of clarity but just just random bouts of like anger over like stupid stuff and um just crying about stupid stuff but like I said I'll share a video of like my entire anxiety journey I might while I'm sitting down right now I might start filming it I don't know I filmed a lot today um I I do find um, it said it could cause jitteriness. I can agree with that. There have been times where I just, I feel like the whole inside of my body is shaking. Like while I may not be physically shaking, like my whole body feels like it's shaking. It's, it's so difficult to explain. <laughs> the also the first night I did, actually I'd say the first like two or three nights I did find that I had a hard time going to sleep. So I can agree, I can kind of agree with the claim of restlessness. Um, it, it did give me like, you know how I was telling you, it gave me like bouts of sadness and anger and what have you. It did, um, give me like bouts of energy too. Like since I've started this medicine, I've been getting up really early, like earlier than normally. And I've been like having so much energy in the mornings and it's weird because I don't even take it first thing in the morning because I have to take it with food and I'm someone that really doesn't like to eat breakfast until like 10 11 o'clock so um I've just been getting up earlier and with lots of energy but like I said it everyone says it takes like a full month before it gets gives you like a true effect and it may end up becoming something where like my dosage has to get adjusted or what have you but um it's it's not a medicine uh, this was directly from my doctor but you know do your own research that you know it's not addictive it's something that she doesn't see me on long term because she says that she thinks I have more of a phobia than I do anxiety issues which is just it's so astonishing to me because like all my life I've like self-talked that you have anxiety go see somebody get on medicine it'll be fixed like it's just anxiety medicine will fix it and then I see a doctor and like this doctor was just like honestly I'm, I'm so glad I got recommended to see this doctor because honestly you know how when a doctor is like a good doctor they literally sit there and spend time with you to like help you figure out the problem she was one of those doctors just I mean I would recommend her to anybody but um because I've seen doctors before and, and they, they're like, oh, just go see a psychiatrist. And this doctor literally, like, sat with me and, like, talked to me. She even went as far as to, like, inviting me to go to church with her and, like, telling me little things I could do. 
but in her opinion she doesn't see me on the medicine long term she thinks it's more of like a phobia thing but like I was saying that's so crazy to you know as humans we self-talk ourselves into like oh this is our problem we have this problem and it's like it kind of made me even more confused than I already was because I was like all my life I've been saying I have anxiety and now she's telling me I have a phobia and it's like well what do I have do I have anxiety or do I have a phobia which is I guess why I need to see a specialist to kind of figure it out and then it's like with phobias that's like a whole nother crazy thing on its own because if it is a phobia you know was I born with it or did I develop it because can you even be born with phobias or is that another thing that you know we as humans we self-talk ourselves into having but it's just it's a bunch of confusion like I said this video is going to be everywhere and I'm sorry for that and I think I'm waking Will up from his nap so I'm going to wrap it up here I may do like a two week or maybe I might just update y'all again in a month and let y'all know how the medicine has done but this is just letting y'all know how the first week has been and kind of everything that I'm going through with it but I will definitely keep y'all updated in an anxiety journey video is coming or if it is a phobia it may end up being a phobia video that's coming who knows um if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up um make sure you subscribe if you are not subscribed already and click the bell so that you are notified each time we upload a new video thank you all so much for watching i look forward to seeing you all in my next video bye